What's up, good people? Mark Holmes here on Taco Tuesday. And as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Blue Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. Hope everybody's having a great day. Um, whew. I'm pooped. Um, but it doesn't matter. Here's an interesting take right here. Something that people haven't talked too much about. You know, everybody wants to get rid of Mike McCarthy. You know, Robert Sala, you know, he's been fired by the Jets, and maybe they should have thought twice before bringing him back because it seemed like uh, he just has not been able to get anything going with that team and so on. You know, and, and you look at it and just kind of, you question everything that he's done, and it's kind of like, hmm. And you've got Aaron Rodgers, and it's not like they haven't tried to build a team. Unlike the Cowboys, they've spent more money than anybody else over the years in free agency, but I think they're the longest team uh, that's been away from the playoffs. So maybe there is something to believing in your own guys, be that as it may. But this weekend, when the Cowboys went to Pittsburgh, okay, here's the thing. You know, team gets in, you know, they fly in, they get to go. You know, they, they get a hotel, they have team dinners, team meetings, and, you know, sometimes they'll go out and do some stuff. So, a lot of people, you had know, to like the tour of the city and things, you know, went out and hung out together and so on the night before the game. Except for Dak Prescott. Dak didn't go out with the rest of the team and stuff. Dak hung out with Mike McCarthy and went to Mike McCarthy's family home. Quiet. One on one with your coach. Now for most of you are like, okay, big deal. I think that actually is a big deal. Because here's the problem of everybody always saying, get rid of Dak, Dak sucks, play calling this, that, and the other. Whether you believe in Dak Prescott or not, Dak Prescott has put up incredible numbers. Dak Prescott is on pace to have the Dallas Cowboys all-time record for passing yards. Now, he'll need another year before he gets the touchdowns, but when we start talking about Tony Romo and how long he was here and how much he's rev re 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 revered, and you think about what Dak Prescott is doing, I know you all think that you know Dak sucks, but we've gone to the playoffs three years in a row, three years in a row, um, Cowboys, it's the only time they've done that since the 90s Cowboys, the winning percentage, the um, come from behinds, Dak Prescott has done some incredible stuff, I know we haven't won the Super Bowl, but we ain't won the Super Bowl in 30 years, and he ain't been here for all of it, so you can't blame him. You can actually look at the Cowboys and say, in the time that Dak Prescott has been here, the Cowboys have been better than in any other period since the 90s team. That's a fact. Dak Prescott gives you a chance to win. Forget all you people there. Well, he had two interceptions. Bro, half your defense is gone. Your big playmakers on defense are gone. You lost your wide receiver, your number two. You lost your starting left tackle. Your wide receivers collectively behind C.D. Lamb had less than 600 yards in completions. Your running game has been the worst in the NFL. And they're three and two. Thing is, especially with Kellen Moore, and people seem to forget how uh, Justin Herbert struggled with Kellen Moore, and he certainly wasn't brought back when they changed the coaching staff. So evidently, that relationship wasn't that good. And you can see right now how the Eagles are struggling with him. That maybe Mike McCarthy is a lot better than people want to give him credit. And that relationship and that dynamic may not be easily replaced. And maybe it's Mike McCarthy that's getting Dak Prescott to get to another level. Go ahead, 
49er fans, Eagle fans, laugh all you want and everything else. But he had two turnovers, three turnovers that game. <laughs> yeah, but they still won. They still won. And even though he was having a bad game, he sucked it up. He had amnesia. And he kept on throwing and got the ball in the end zone. So before we start saying we got to fire Mike McCarthy, and I don't know if Dak Prescott has any power or any say or anything like that, um, but I think that relationship between Mike McCarthy and Dak Prescott, that that is a real thing, and we need to look at that and say, if we're, we get rid of Mike McCarthy, how will that dynamic work with the next guy? Uh, say what you want, but Dak Prescott is paid for the next four years, and getting rid of him, it ain't going to be easy. It ain't, ask, ask a team like the Cleveland Browns, how hard is it to get rid of a guy that you made a mistake on? Yeah, because they would love to get out of Deshaun Watson, but they owe him another $144 million after this year, fully guaranteed. That's kind of hard to get through. Oh, boy. But, yeah, Dak Prescott, Mike McCarthy, hung out. Mike McCarthy's family home. I think that's really kind of cool. Oh, boy. Hopefully, the Cowboys season will be a success. And I'm not one of those ones that say the Cowboys need to move on from Mike McCarthy as much as I am that the Cowboys need to move on from Jerry Jones as the um, GM. I think that's the bigger play right there that needs to be looked at. But what do I know? I'm a guy with a day job and a voodoo doll that's out working on a roof. <sighs> Hope y'all have a great day. And um, yeah, I'll see y'all when I see you. This weather's unbelievable right now. It is about 68 degrees. The air is cool and crisp. The sun is out, so the sun is warming you up. The breeze is cooling you down, so you got the whole hot and cold effect here. And the leaves are beginning to turn. And there's nothing prettier than seeing the Shenandoah Valley in the fall. So um, I would go up on Blue Ridge Parkway and take some pictures of it. Uh, maybe it'll be opened up in the next you know, couple of weeks here before the leaves get too far gone, but it's closed because of the uh, storms that they had because they're assessing to make sure that everything's okay on it. Anyway, I'll see you soon.